What's up guys? My name is Jay the Pizza Guy and welcome to another episode of 10 in 10, the series that explains 10 items of a certain subject in 10 minutes or less. This week I'm joined by Bad Drivers of Albuquerque and together we're going to bring you guys the facts. In this episode we check out 10 of the oldest buildings ever found in the state of New Mexico. So let's get right to it, shall we? Originally built in 1851, Fort Union acted as a frontier village for the U.S. Army up until its abandonment in 1891. Officially declared a national monument in 1954, this site contains a 1.2 mile trail that winds through the 720 acres of ruins, as well as a visitor center. Built in 1629, the Salinas Pueblo Mission's National Monument is a historic Spanish Catholic site located near Gran Quivira, New Mexico. Said to be the earliest contact between Pueblo Indians and Spanish Colonials, this site contains the ruins of three mission churches, the Quarai, Abo, and the Gran Quivira. There is also some evidence to suggest that Billy the Kid himself had once spent the night within these ruins. This destination is extremely popular amongst tourists and native New Mexicans, as roughly 34,000 people flock to this marvel every year. San Miguel de Socorro is a historic church built on the ruins of the Nuestra Señora de Socorro Mission Church in Socorro, New Mexico. Originally built around 1626, it was destroyed in the Pueblo Revolt of 1680 and later rebuilt. This church is so old that the last pre-American occupation governor, Manuel Armijo, is said to be buried there. The old San Miguel Church. How interesting. Now, it says that there's a bunch of people buried here, so won't there be at least one ghost? Uh, I think it's just an old tale. It's not even holy shit. The San Miguel Chapel is a Spanish colonial mission church located near the heart of Santa Fe, New Mexico. Originally built between 1610 and 1626, San Miguel is claimed to be the oldest church in the entire U.S., having been rebuilt numerous times over the years. Mass is actually still given here every Sunday. The Gila Cliff Dwellings is a protected site located in the Gila Wilderness inside southwest New Mexico. Said to be inhabited by ancient Magians from 1275 until the early 14th century, it's said to be the northernmost point of the Magians' inhabitants. Inside, archaeologists have discovered 46 rooms said to be home to 10 to 15 families. To this day, it's unknown exactly why the ruins were abandoned. Hey, why are you moving out? No Wi-Fi, man. Can't go in that crap. On the west side of Albuquerque, where Bad Drivers of Albuquerque and I reside, you can find the Petroglyph National Monument. This interesting site contains images carved into rocks that were created by Spanish sheep herders. You didn't know about Petroglyph or no, oh, what it contained? Yeah, or uh, that is done by Spanish sheep herders. Oh yeah, apparently they were here by land grants. These images date from anywhere between 1200 and 1650 AD. It is said that these large rocks were created by lava flows from the volcanoes to the west over 200,000 years ago. This monument is seen by over 114,000 people year-round and is definitely a place to check out if you're ever in Albuquerque. Bandelier National Monument is an ancestral Puebloan inhabitants area located within the Hemis Mountains. Spanning over a 50 square mile area, over 70% of this monument is wilderness with over one mile change in elevation. The Puebloans were said to inhabit this area between 1150 and 1600 AD. This is a very popular site as over 130,000 people visit this site each year. Located near the town of Aztec and northeast of Farmington lies the Aztec Ruins National Monument. Dated between 1000 and 1200 AD, this area was inhabited by the ancestral Puebloans. However, the myth of the site being inhabited by the Aztec tribe can be traced back to the mid-19th century. This site is visited by about 30,000 people every year. Inhabited between 900 and 1150 AD, the Chaco Culture National Historical Park is located in a remote canyon between Albuquerque and Farmington. Ancient Puebloans, known as Chacoans, built these 15 amazing structures from sandstones, blocks, and timber, which were known as the largest buildings in North America until the 19th century. Many of these buildings are aligned to capture these solar and lunar cycles, which would have required centuries of skillful crafting. It is said that these sites were abandoned due to climate change. This began with a 50-year drought starting in 1130. Located about 17 miles east of Santa Fe, New Mexico, the Pecos National Historical Park was once home to the Pecos or Siquique Pueblo. Originally inhabited around 800 AD, its last Pueblo residents abandoned the area in 1838. This was due to the Pueblo suffering from attacks from the Comanche tribes. The remaining population then moved to the Jemez Pueblo. Visited by around 35,000 people per year, this is quite a popular site within the state. 
If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and follow our social media links, which can be found up here. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video. What the f was that, dude? What the hell?